uncover the veil of deception in the food industry. Companies driven by profit conceal alarming practices. It's time to question and unveil the secrets that they don't want you to know. Don't miss out. Subscribe for more eye-opening insights and discoveries. Number 10. American chicken is so bad that it is banned in the EU. American chickens endure dismal conditions from farm to slaughter, often culminating in chlorine baths to combat microbes. Despite tests reveal salmonella and listeria persist post-wash due to insufficient chlorine levels. This practice, along with the historic use of arsenic-based drugs and antibiotics in chicken farming, contributes to health concerns. EU banned American chicken imports since 1997. Prolonged antibiotic use fosters antibiotic resistance, causing global health issues with approximately 700,000 deaths annually worldwide and 2 million illnesses in the United States alone, spotlighting systematic problems in the poultry industry. Number 9. Michelin stars can be more of a curse than a blessing. The Michelin Guide's three-star rating, awarded by anonymous reviewers, brings both prestige and challenges to establishments. While a star boosts sales, maintaining it demands chefs work under intense pressure, adhering to strict guidelines. Inspections occurring at any time expose restaurants to sudden rating changes. Chefs burdened by the need to sustain stars sometimes resort to legal action against Michelin. The high-stakes environment has led some establishments to close rather than endure the associated pressure and restrictions, showcasing the complexities and controversies within the Michelin rating system. Number 8. Lab-grown meat is still worse than regular meat. Lab-grown meat, aiming to eliminate animal slaughter and reduce emissions, relies on fetal bovine serum, or FBS, obtained from slaughtered pregnant cows and drained fetuses. This process, albeit cruelty-free, involves ethical and environmental concerns. Growing tissue in labs demands expensive pharmaceutical-grade equipment, requiring substantial energy and emits 4 to 25 times more carbon dioxide equivalents per kilogram compared to traditional beef production. Despite the human intention, the sustainability of lab-grown meat is challenged by ethical practices and environmental impacts, revealing complexities in the quest for more ethical and eco-friendly food options. Number 7. Chocolate is made with child slave labor. The Ivory Coast, contributing 45% of global cocoa, employs over 2 million child laborers, with many trafficked from Burkina Faso and Mali, financial consultant parents to use their children for farm labor instead of education. Traffickers lure kids as young as 10 with gifts to travel to the Ivory Coast, where they endure grueling manual work for meager pay. A Tulane survey revealed that half couldn't return home. Over two-thirds faced threats, violence, and unpaid work. This dark reality exposes the exploitative conditions behind much of the world's chocolate production. Number 6. Kobe and Wagyu beef sold in America is rarely authentic. The prevalence of Kobe and Wagyu beef in restaurants may not guarantee authenticity. Kobe, the most esteemed regional Wagyu in Japan, is scarce, with only a fraction reaching the U.S. authentic Kobe beef inseminated by specific bulls in the Hyogo region is served in merely eight U.S. restaurants and isn't available in retail. American Wagyu also faces legitimacy concerns with less than 5,000 or 40,000 cows qualifying as purebred, the rest falling under lower purity ranks like F1, F2, and F3. Thus, the Wagyu beef in many local restaurants likely doesn't meet the highest purity standards. Number 5. Bottled water is mostly tap water. Tap water in the US contains unfiltered traces of antibiotics, painkillers, hormones, and various drugs discarded by users. Water treatment plants struggle to eliminate these contaminants along with PFAS, leading to severe health issues. 
about 200 million Americans have PFAS contaminated tap water. Despite this, Americans consume more packaged water than any other nation. Shockingly, almost half of bottled water is processed tap water. This excessive consumption also contributes to substantial plastic waste with minimal recycling, highlighting environmental and health concerns associated with both tap and bottled water. Number 4. Olive oil labels are probably lying to you. Olives are harvested at night, crushed into paste, and processed in centrifuges to extract oil. Categorized as extra virgin, virgin or lampante. Shockingly, about 80% of Italian extra virgin olive oil is estimated to be counterfeit. Even in Italy, approximately 50% of olive oil is considered fake. A study identifying mislabeling issues in major US stores where 6 out of 11 tested olive oil bottles did not meet international standards. Fraudulent practices include using rotten olives, old oils, or adding seed oils during production, emphasizing the pervasive nature of olive oil mislabeling in the market. Number 3. Oatly is not as healthy as advertised. Oatly, often marketed as a lactose-free alternative, raises health concerns. Its primary sugar is maltose, with a glycemic index similar to cola, impacting blood sugar levels. It contains rapeseed oil with oxidized omega-3 fatty acids linked to heart disease, organ damage, inflammation, and cancer. The inclusion of this potassium phosphate raises worries about poor bone health, calcium deposits, artery hardening, and an increased risk of cardiovascular disease due to elevated phosphate levels in the blood. The seemingly healthy alternative may pose significant health risks, urging consumers to scrutinize its ingredients. Number two, supermarkets are designed to manipulate you into spending more. Supermarkets strategically design layouts to influence purchasing behavior. In large shopping carts since 1937 encourage buying more. One-way entry doors increase walking distance, produce and bakery sections, well-lit and aromatic, stimulate hunger. Spraying produce enhances appearance despite hastening spoilage. Dairy sections are deliberately distant, guiding shoppers through distraction. Shell placement manipulates with pricier items at eye level, child targeted surreal packaging at kids' eye level, features mascots engagingly. Environmental cues like music, no windows, and clocks elevate shopping time, contributing to impulse buys. Understanding these tactics aids consumers in making informed shopping decisions. Number one, never buy commercial pet food. Pet food labels often obscure meat content percentages, raising questions about sourcing. Disturbingly, much pet food derives from rendering plants, processing carcasses like dead pets, animals, and waste. This includes toxic elements from pesticides, insecticides, antibiotics, and heavy metals. The process incorporates discarded supermarket meats, chicken, fish, and plastic, the latter contributing PFAS contamination. Pet food additives, preservatives, and grains unfit for humans further compromise quality. Despite veterinary influence, university funding by major pet food companies may impact nutritional education for vets, casting doubt on recommendations from this industry-aligned source. Thanks for exploring with us. Hit subscribe, like, and stay tuned for more fascinating insights.